What's up everybody? This is Vance with Six String Country and today we're covering Traveling Soldier by The Chicks written by Bruce Robeson. And yeah, so for the rhythm lesson we've got our capo on the second fret and nothing super tough. Um, we got some nice fills and, and licks if you're trying to get into that kind of thing. But if not, you can also just get just the regular strumming pattern and have a good time and relax and play through. Uh, for the lead part, definitely some tricky stuff going on because it's not really an acoustic part. Um, we've kind of thrown in some mandolin licks, some violin stuff, some dobro stuff, all in one part. Got some really tricky solo work. So, yeah. All right, everybody, this is the rhythm lesson for Traveling Soldier. Once again, we're in the key of A, uh, but for this one, we have our capo on the second fret. So we're thinking of our open G shape as our one chord. Um, so yeah, basically how this one will work, I've notated a couple specific things throughout the song, little, little fills um, and chord shapes, and I'll cover those. Uh, and other than that, we just got some different strumming patterns and we'll make sure you got those under your fingers and we should be good to go. Um, so just one thing I wanna point out, whether we're doing that strumming pattern or these little more specific licks, um, something that's really important with parts like this is that you kind of, even if you're not doing a full big motion, you keep that 16th note motor going on in your right hand. So the song's around this tempo, one, two, Three, four, so one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And again, that doesn't mean, you know, these big crazy motions, because we don't want that. That would sound bad, um, and you'd look goofy. But um, just make sure we have that in our back of our minds, um, and it'll also help you keep your picking under, under uh, you know, under wraps when you're doing some of this more complicated stuff. Uh, so starting at the beginning of the song, We've got our open G chord, open D, open G, open D, low, open D, open G, and then high G. So to a C chord, regular C chord, except that we're holding our pinky on the third fret of the E string to keep that high pedal note. So we got third finger on the third fret of the A, second finger on the second fret of the D, open G first finger on the first fret of the B. So that's the full chord, so. So that's just full strum, bass note, middle three, top four, uh, middle three twice, and then another little lick. Probably have heard that one once or twice. So open D, hammer on at the second finger, open G, and then uh, first finger on B, B. So, and remember, keep the motor. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. So even with those pull-offs, I'm not affecting my picking pattern, right? Hammer-ons, pull-offs, either one. Um, back to G. So 
So that's just bouncing back and forth. Bass note, D, bass note, D, G. I think we're ready to try it to tempo. All right, so here's verse one. One, two, three, four. Here's the regular strumming pattern. To C. F. And C. we're focusing really on the middle two strings, our G and D strings. And so we come out of that lick. And you can actually end that lick on your pinky if you want to, to set you up perfectly to drop your third finger in, because we're just doing both of the 11th frets on the D and G string over the F sharp minor chord, and just going and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. And then for the D chord, we're gonna slide, we don't need to slide, but move our third finger up to the 12th fret. Now second finger on the 11th fret. Then shift back, third finger back on the 11th fret. Now first finger on the 9th fret of the G string for the A chord. And then on the anda of B2, we're gonna have our second finger on the 10th fret of the B string, fourth finger on the 12th fret of the E string. That just gives it that little plinky sound. And a four, and a. And now we're gonna bar our first finger on the ninth fret of the D and G strings. And then bar our pinky on the 12th fret of the top two strings. So, all right everybody, this is the solo lesson for Traveling Soldier. Now, something to keep in mind with this solo, with this guitar solo, it's not a guitar. The first half from the pickup into measure 47 through the first four bars of the solo section. We're kind of imitating the violin solo. Um, and in the second half, it's the dobro. So if we're not really kind of hitting all of the specific instrument specific vibes of each of those things, yep. don't stress it. We have uh, one, two, three. So we have starting with our fourth finger on the 10th fret of the B string. We have a very quick little pull off to the seventh fret. And we're landing on the ninth fret of the G string with our third finger. And then up to the, back to the seventh fret with our first finger. And that's that little, first little block. And then we're back to the 10th fret, back to the ninth fret on the G string. Now up to the seventh fret of the E string back to the ninth fret on the G string. So that ninth fret of that first little lick is kind of our anchor, and we're just messing around around it. So one, two, three. That's how that goes. And then we're right into, basically, up into it's more difficult when you go faster. So lots of challenges, but I think we're gonna go ahead and try this whole solo to tempo. One, Two, three. 